Hi, Ben Lipton Middle School students. Mrs. Kirkland here. Can you believe that we only have two more weeks before we enter into summer break? That means that I only have this episode and next episode to reach out to you through video to give you ideas on how you can take care of yourself. It is something I absolutely love doing, helping you all at middle school age to learn how to do things to take care of yourself. I have this card. It's our reminder of the different areas that we're going to take a look at each week. And so it's like a, you're developing a toolbox and I'm giving you some tools to put in it. So when you feel frustrated or overwhelmed or stressed or sad, you already have an idea of what you can do to take care of yourself. And so I've talked to you about the four areas of your life that need attention, that you need to take time to, to manage and care about. And one of them, of course, is your spiritual well-being, your relationship with the Lord. One way that you can grow in your relationship with the Lord and refocus your thoughts and your mind and your heart on Him is through music. So this week's tip is I want to invite you to create a playlist of music that draws your attention to how wonderful the Lord is. And let it be something that brings you into the beautiful hope that we have in Jesus Christ. When you have that playlist created, that means that when you hit a rough day or a rough time in, in the week, you have that music ready and you can listen to it. And it's different from other music. This is intentional music, music that speaks the truth about who the Lord is. Okay, I also want to talk to you about a tip for your relational well-being. The tip this week is pretty simple. It is to laugh with someone else. Now, I know some of you guys are great at laughing. You can pull up a funny video and laugh and laugh and laugh, but how much better it feels when you show that video to somebody else and you laugh with them. And so what I want you to do this week is laugh with other people. Proverbs 17, 22 says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, and indeed it is. Um, laughter is something that's beautiful and it's a gift from the Lord and it actually restores us. In difficult times like the pandemic that we're in, it's hard to laugh because there is so much serious um, things that are going on, but it's okay to laugh. As Christians, we can have deep sorrow at the same time that we have joy. And that joy can sometimes be expressed through laughing. I have a quote for you that I want to read. Humor comes from our loving and life-giving God who is the source of all that is healthy and wholesome and purely hilarious. This week, laugh with someone else. Pull up some good videos that are funny and laugh with a friend or a family member. Tell some good jokes, play some games, watch something funny on television and laugh together. It does a lot for creating memories and building friendship. Okay, I also wanna take a look at your mind. That's your thought processes. How are you doing with your mind? And a lot of times we can have negative thinking and start thinking on things that bring us down. One way to pull us out of that is to get involved in a hobby. So this week, my challenge to you is to find a hobby that you enjoy. Hobbies are wonderful in so many ways. They engage your minds and think something that is positive and constructive and motivating. And it's a great way to cope whenever we're go undergoing um, feelings of stress. Additionally, just so you know guys, hobbies are gonna make you more interesting as a person. So if you wanna become more interesting and more dynamic as a middle school student, find some hobbies. That creates interest in you and it helps you become a more well-rounded person. But in regards to taking care of your mind, a hobby is a healthy way to take care of your mind. All right, the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is your physical body. Things that you can do to take care of your physical body. Stress and anxiety have a way of making us feel jittery on the inside and our heart beating fast and whatnot. And things feel out of control, but there is something you can control and that is your breathing. And you can learn how to take care of yourself through learning how to breathe in a way that slows your body down. I'm going to teach you the take five breathing technique of slowing down your breathing. You hold up your hand and with the other hand, you're gonna trace your fingers and you're gonna go through five cycles. You're gonna breathe in as you trace up. You're gonna hold it for a couple seconds and then breathe out as you trace down. Hold it a couple seconds. Breathe in slowly, a deep belly breath. Hold it for a couple seconds. Then breathe out slowly. 
and hold it for a couple seconds and so on. And what that's going to do is it's going to help relax your body. It's going to help you um, not feel as stressed. It isn't like a simple formula that you feel better. It is something that you can put in your toolbox with other things to help take care of yourself. So as a reminder, we have music this week, laughing with other people, getting involved in a hobby, and learning how to breathe at a slower rate. I hope these things are helpful for you. If there's anything I can do, email me. I'll be glad to email you back. Until then, everyone take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.